Okay, Les Paul Custom with the Sir Doug Aldrich humbuckers in it. Cable straight into the amplifier, same settings as the Strat demo, and we are on channel one on mode one, so the clean sounds. And this is what it sounds like. <laughs> guitar sounds really bright and uh, very nice and warm which is a good quality to have in an amplifier like with the um, igniter that I've got the tour master you have the contour switches on the clean channels so you can uh, brighten up your guitar say if it's a mahogany guitar with humbuckers in it you want to get a more brighter snappy sound you can just dial that in with the con uh, contour control but with this um, it's got the presence and deep depth knob on the master section which is a it affects the amp globally on both channels, but um, what I've got it set at the moment, both at 10 or 11 o'clock, it sounds really nice with both guitars that I've put through it. Sounds great with my telly as well, so it's a very versatile amplifier. Moving on to mode 2, got a bit more gain on it, and this is what it sounds like with the bridge pickup of my Les Paul. <laughs> good very dynamic now finally I was mode 3 on channel 1 and you got your classic ACDC sound <laughs> So you've got all your classic rock sounds and it sounds fantastic. To a nice, kind of little bit crunchy but clean sound, it's really good. Now, moving on to channel 2. Again sticking with the um, same mode selection as the Strat demo, so mode 3 and you've got ridiculous amounts of gain on tap for this so there is no need for extra um, overdrive pedals so this is what it sounds like uh, for like a rock rhythm sound or a heavy rock rhythm sound <laughs> Again, very dynamic. I mean, that's a really high gain sound, yet you can still get a really nice clean sound when you roll down the volume on your guitar. Now, I'm going to put some, put it through some alternate tunings, starting off with drop C, and just to show you how it can cope with low frequencies. <laughs>
brutals. Now I'm in uh, drop D tuning and what I like to do, is particularly on my Les Paul, is to have the bridge pick up fully up. And then by flicking to my um, neck pick up I've got a clean sound. great and um, this amp being so dynamic it enables me to do that so I don't really have to worry about switching the channel I can just um, flip the toggle switch on my guitar which is really good and now um, just some more rhythm tones with this channel and then I'll show you some lead sounds with the delay and the loop and this is what it sounds like <laughs> And that last passage was with the delay through the loop on and the master 2 selected. So, to sum up really, this is probably one of the best amps I've ever played through. And um, they're quite, di they're not that easy to get a hold of in the UK, which is a bit of a shame. But uh, more and more artists are using them live and also in the studio. And um, I initially went to try the 50 watt version of this, and the 50 watt version is great, but um, the 100 watt just has something about it and it sounds incredible with any I plugged uh, my Strat in, my Tele, my Les Paul, a 335 and it sounds fantastic for any kind of music, so versatile so um, if you can check one out I highly recommend it and you will not be disappointed <laughs>